In this video, I will be explaining how to solve some problems in which we can apply the rules of probabilities. There are two examples. The first one is the following. A restaurant in a fast food franchise has determined that the chance of a customer will order a soft drink is 0 0.90. The probability that the customer will order a hamburger is 0 0.60. And the probability that the customer will order french fry is 0 0.54. With this information, I would like to solve some questions. The first question is this. If a customer places an order, what is the probability that the order will include a soft drink and fries? If these two events are independent. So let's type first what information we receive. First, we know that the probability that the customer order a soft drink is 0 0.90. So I'm calling S this event, the event of the customer order a soft drink. But the probability that the customer order a hamburger is 0 0.60. So I'm going to call H the event the, the customer order a hamburger. And finally, we receive the information that the customer will order french fries with the probability of 0 0.54. And the question is, if the two events are independent, soft drink and fries, then what is the probability that the customer order these two items? So the question is, what is the probability that the customer order a soft drink and fries? Because these two events are independent, the formula tells me that I need to multiply the two probabilities. So it will be the probability of S times the probability of F. And this is 0 0.90 times 0 0.54 equal 0 0.486. Let's answer another question that can be asked from a problem like this. The restaurant has also determined that if a customer orders a hamburger, the probability the customer will order fries is 0 0.85. Determine the probability that the order will include a hamburger and fries. And we notice that this information, this 0 0.85, is the probability that the customer will order fries given that he or she orders a hamburger. So they are telling me that the probability of F given age, or the probability of fries given hamburger is equal 0 0.85. And we know that the probability of ordering fries is 0 0.54. This was an information that they give me from the beginning. So I noticed that the fact that the customer ordered hamburger changed the probability of ordering fries. Even I can say they increase the probability of ordering fries. So if a customer orders a hamburger, for the probability that orders fries will be bigger, it will be 0 0.85. So these two events are not independent. For that reason, to answer the question, what is the probability that the order will include hamburger and fries? So what is the probability of H and F? will be the probability of H times the probability of F given H. So it will be the probability of H times the probability of fries given H. And this, the probability of H, we know that is 0 0.60, so it will be 0 0.60 times 0 0.85. It will be 0 0.60 times 0 0.85. And this is 0 0.51 or 51%. This answer this second question. Let's ask a third question. If a customer places an order, what is the probability that the order will not include fries? So they, we know the information that the probability of ordering a soft drink is 0 0.90, the ordering a hamburger is 0 0.60, and ordering fries will be 0 0.54. The question is now, what is the probability of not ordering these fries? So we know the probability of F. They're asking me the probability of no F. 
and we know that the probability of no f will be 1 minus the probability of f. It will be just 1 minus 0 0.54 equals 0 0.46 or 46%. That will be the probability of no ordering fries or the probability that the order doesn't include fries. Let's answer now a first question. If a customer places an order, what is the probability that the order will include a soft drink and no fries? If these two events are independent, or if the two events are independent, we know that we need just to multiply the, their probabilities. So the question is in this case, what is the probability of S and no F? What is the probability of ordering a soft drink and no fries? And this will be the product of the probability of S times the probability of no F. And we know both things. And we know that the probability of S is 0 0.90 times the probability of no F is the one that we already computed before, 0 0.46. And the answer of this is 0 0.414 or 41.4%. And let's answer this first question. Okay, so this example was a simple way of using these probability rules. Let's solve a different problem. The problem is the following. A company has sales offices in three cities. An analysis of the company's accounts receivables reveals the number of overdue invoices by days, as shown in the table. Assume the invoices are stored and managed from a central database. And here we have the table. The first question that we have with this information is this. What is the probability that a randomly selected invoice from the database is from the city's C office? And I know that the amounts of invoices of each city are in these columns. For example, from the city C, there are 200 invoices, 100 that are under 40 days overdue. There are 70 that are between 40 and 80 days overdue, and 30 that are overdue more than 80 days. But the question is, what is the probability that a randomly selected invoice from this database is from the city C. So we are going to count all the invoices from the city C and divide it by the total number of invoices. So the solution is the probability of C, let's call it C, this, this event uh, selecting an, an invoice from the city C. And it will be 200 over 500. This is equal 0 0.40 or 40%. Let's answer a second question. Question B, what is the probability that a randomly selected invoice from the database is overdue 80 or less days? And then, if we want to compute this probability, then we need to count how many of these invoices are overdue 80 or less days. And we can find here that there are 270 here, and there are 170. This 170 that are between 40 and 80 days are overdue 80 or less days. Eh? And these 270 for sure are overdue less than 80 days. So the answer will be 270 plus 170 divided by the total number 500. And that gives me an answer of 0 0.88. This answer these two first questions. Let's, let's see a, another possible question, a third question. What is the probability that a randomly selected invoice from the database is overdue under 40 days and from the city B office? So this invoice needs to be at the same time under 40 days, overdue under 40 days, and at the same time from the city B. And as we know, so we need to be the invoice that are at the same time in this row, the first row under 40 days, and the second column that is from the city B. And these are the 50 invoices here. So the answer will be 50 over 500. Let's type this 50 over 500, and that gives me an answer of 0 0.10 or 
Another possible question that I can ask with these tables will be what is the probability that the randomly selected invoice from the database is either overdue under 40 days or from the CDB office? And we know that when the two events are connected by OR, the probability will be the probability of the first plus the probability of the second minus the joint probability. So it will be probability of under 40 plus the probability of B minus the probability of under 40 and B. To find the probability of under 40, so we just need to see how many invoices are overdue under 40 days. And these are 270 over 500. So it will be 270 over 500. Plus the probability of B, that it will be the number of elements or the number of invoices that are from the CDB over the total number of invoices that are 500. So it will be plus 800 over 500 minus the probability of under 40 and 50 and we already know that these 50 invoices here that are, are, the, are at the same time from CDB and are overdue under 40 days will be 50 over 500 so it will be minus 50 over 500 so doing that in your calculator and I find that is 220 over 500 220 over 500 is the same of 0 0.44 or 44%. Let's answer another possible question. And this is a, a fifth question. It is known that the randomly selected invoice from the database is overdue under 40 days. What is the probability that it is from the CDB office? So now we know that the, oh, the invoice is overdue under 40 days. So I know that is one of these 270 invoice and we are going to compute what is the probability that is from the CDB office. So my whole universe is now this row here, the first row in, in this table. So it will be 270 will be the denominator of the fraction and the question is the probability that is from the CDB given that is overdue under 40 days and it will be from the CDB are 50 of this 270. So the answer will be 50 over 270 equals 0 0.1852 or 80.52%. And finally, another possible question will be, it is known that a randomly selected invoice from the database is from the CDA. What is the probability that it is overdue over 80 days? Okay, so we know that it's from the CDA, so we know that it's one of these 200 invoices in the first column. And the question is, what is the probability that is over 80 days overdue? So it will be this 20 out of, of this 200. So let's type first the question, what is the probability that is over 80 days, given that is from the CDA? And this will be then 20 over this 200. And this 20 over 200 will be 0 0.1 or 10%. That finished my explanations for this video. Thank you.